surface appears to be uh, very, very fine grained as you get close to it. It's almost like a powder. Elon Musk, considered by some to be a tyrant and others to be a visionary, is perhaps our generation's greatest entrepreneur. Musk, who has continuously been at the forefront of innovation, started out his career after starting his own company called Zip2. You can think of Zip2 as an early version of Google Maps and was developed early on before people even understood the potential that the internet had. After Zip2, Musk shifted his focus to the banking industry and was a co-founder of PayPal, a company currently valued at around $50 billion. After shifting his focus away from software, Musk landed on space travel and became the CEO and founder of SpaceX, the first private company to reach outer space, an accomplishment previously only done by a handful of countries. While conquering space, Musk also set his sights on revolutionizing our everyday lives and has played an important role as both Tesla Motors CEO as well as the chairman of the board of Solar City. This may leave you wondering, how does he get it all done? To start off, we have to start back with Elon's first job, or should we say, two jobs. After showing up in Silicon Valley, Musk began working at two different startups. By day, Musk was working at Pinnacle Research Institute, where he was working on a new ultra capacitor. At night, he would switch to Rocket Science Games, a startup trying to make the most advanced video games ever made. It's here where Elon started, and where he began to see it as normal that people would be working at the office for 24 hours a day. As Elon progressed, he carried his work ethic with him to PayPal, and on launch day, he even worked through Thanksgiving Day for 48 straight hours. At times, he was even calling other engineers to come back to the office from their Thanksgiving dinners. But it was perhaps during the early years of SpaceX where the ultimate sacrifices were made. After building a launch site on a remote island off of Japan, a team of engineers picked up and lived there until they launched the rocket successfully. One engineer explains that each night they could either sleep in a tent with the rockets, where the geckos would crawl all over you, or you could take an hour-long boat ride back to the mainland. You just had to pick the pain that you remembered the least. Although this may seem unfair to the engineers, this was nothing Musk would not have done himself. In fact, back in his early days, Musk could not afford an apartment, so he and his brother actually lived at their office. Musk would actually sleep on a beanbag next to his desk, and would ask the engineers to give him a kick when they first got into the office. When they were eventually able to move into their own apartment, they didn't even have enough money to pay for furniture, so they just put their mattresses there on the floor. And that's perhaps the reason why Musk just kept sleeping on his beanbag at work. Their homes weren't the only thing in disarray either. One day an engineer was driving Elon's car into the office when the tire actually fell off and the axle dug a groove into the street that stayed there for years. Another trait of Elon's that helped him succeed was his desire to learn. Even as a young child, Musk was a big reader and would read various sets of encyclopedias. But as he grew older, he became more interested in reading books about aerodynamics, astrophysics, and even jet engine propulsion. But these books were only the beginning for Musk. While his companies were still young, it wasn't uncommon for him to trap some of his engineers in the office while asking them about a certain valve or a system that they designed. Unknowingly, the engineers thought that they were being tested. It wasn't until later that they would find out that Musk was really just trying to learn from them. This attention to detail definitely rubbed off on the company's engineers though, and it became apparent in their work. Like at Tesla when they were trying to figure out the best arrangements for their batteries. The engineers would intentionally set the batteries on fire and film them in slow motion. After reviewing the footage, they would determine the best arrangements and try again. Bringing in top level engineers to solve tough problems like this one was also what helped Elon accomplish so much. Musk did this first by giving his engineers something interesting to work on. Instead of sending up old rockets from the 60s, Musk was pushing his engineers to reinvent the spaceship, something that no one has been doing anywhere. Musk was also able to inspire intelligent people to join him in order to reach his goals. I mean, it's kind of hard to not get motivated to work hard for a guy that is trying to set up a human colony on Mars. And lastly, Musk provided freedom. Freedom from the slow-moving, old bureaucratic systems. He gave his engineers the freedom and the tools they needed to innovate. 
In fact, once, instead of waiting months for city permits to build a fiber optic cable to the SpaceX hangars, Musk hired an off-the-books utility crew to place the cable next to their telephone wires. Talk about a man on a mission. But by far the biggest takeaway about Elon Musk is to outwork your competitors. And then work some more, and then you'll succeed. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Oh, that looks beautiful.